Welcome back to Jersey Matters. The Katie Brennan investigative hearings continued this week in Trenton for the ninth day of testimony. So did we find out who hired Al Alvarez, the man that Katie Brennan says raped her? Dawn Stenzel-Menti reports. Dawn. New developments and new controversy this week as the Select Oversight Committee continues their investigation into an alleged sex assault as well as into hiring practices by the Murphy administration. This week, for the first time, a key witness was subpoenaed. In other words, forced to come here and answer their questions. My name is Al Alvarez and I would like to begin by briefly addressing the events of April 7, 2017. My comments are limited to the following. I stand by my previous statement that I have been falsely accused. The sexual contact between myself and Ms. Brennan was consensual. It's the first time we've heard his side of the story. Albert J. Alvarez testifying under oath this week, denying sex assault allegations made against him by another official within the Murphy administration. Katie Brennan testified before these very lawmakers last December. After I was sexually assaulted in the early hours of Saturday, April 8th, 2017, I immediately contacted my husband. I wanted to stop Al Alvarez from ever attacking another woman again. Brennan has since filed a civil suit against Alvarez and the state, accusing the Murphy administration of bungling her case and trying to silence her. Her attorney has attended most of these nine hearings conducted by the Bipartisan Oversight Select Committee. I think we've got to be very, very careful about how we handle allegations and um, what we do about he said, she said kind of uh, situations. And that's my personal, um, my personal mission. It's a bit surreal. Uh, I think with each committee hearing, uh, we've just heard more and more inconsistent testimony. Somebody or a whole host of people are unfortunately not telling the truth as to what's transpired. And now it's trying to figure out what version of what's being put forth is accurate. Inconsistencies in the testimony told by Alvarez and Murphy's inner circle who testified they repeatedly told Alvarez he needed to leave his $170,000 job in the SDA because of the allegation. Alvarez claims he was given time to look for another job, but says he finally resigned when the story made news to minimize embarrassment for Governor Murphy, who ironically was publicly bashing the hiring of Brett Kavanaugh amid his assault allegations. Alvarez was repeatedly asked to solve the mystery of who hired him for a top job in the School Development Authority. He claims he does not know, but can narrow it down. All of that information had to pass through Mr. Camerano or Mr. Placken or Mr. Lozano, that those recommendations would not get approved as coming from the transition office if they did not sign off. Okay. Do you agree with Mr. Lozano's statement that it's a safe assumption that either one of those two, either one of those two, meaning Platkin or Camerano, approved your employment at the SDA? Yes. So, I mean, we're making progress. Yeah. <laughs> Lawmakers say they'll recommend, among other things, a mandatory formal hiring process involving paperwork and documentation. NJ CASA survivor advocates agree. They released a statement saying somebody must be lying. Many lawmakers agree, saying they're working together to get to the truth. As much as people will say it's a politically driven committee, it's not. It's a committee that's attempting to do the right thing and get to the answers of some very basic questions. NJ CASA, the survivor advocacy group, released a statement to me. They said their question is not who hired Al Alvarez, but rather why hire Mr. Alvarez. They also point to what they call glaring inconsistencies. Reporting from the State House, Dawn Stens Lamenti for Jersey Matters. All right, thank you, Dawn. Coming up next, sports books in New Jersey will experience their first March Madness. And after the Super Bowl, they have a lot to be excited about. We'll explain when we come back next.